welcome dreamers and participants welcome to one more scintillating session of daily dose let's understand that when question comes on the machining or metal cutting operation generally a tool signature is given but most of the times it was mentioned that whether that tool signature is asa or whether that tool signature is ors it is not mentioned so we have one scintillating trick how to identify that whether this tool signature is asa or ors if i talk about a asa tool signature how exactly asa tool signature look like it is alpha b b s alpha b alpha s theta e theta s c e and c s and nose radius this is has to be in millimeter or inches this is nothing but called as a asa tool signature and if i talk about o r s tool signature it look like a i alpha b i alpha b i so not alpha b it has to be alpha o alpha o c theta dash s theta dash e c c e lambda and n is it okay everybody so this is nothing but asa or ors tool signature and all the angles are known to everybody right fine now if it is not mentioned that whether it is asa or ors tool signature there is one highlighting trick is there identify that you have to just go and check what exactly is the angle given at the sixth place at the sixth place what exactly angle is given what exactly angle is given at the sixth place because we know that seventh place is occupied by a tool signature or tool radius that is in millimeter or inches but the sixth place is occupied by one angle now how exactly it is identified we know that sir during metal cutting operation if my side cutting edge angle is exactly equal to zero or let's say that lambda is exactly 90 degree lambda is approach angle and it is called a principal cutting edge angle so if lambda is 90 or cs is 0 it is it is a most preferable way because at that time a depth of cut or width of the cut will be least one width of the cut will be exactly equal to a depth of cut at that particular point and it is the least one so therefore it is most preferred but while doing that my chip is flowing and it will start interacting with the machine surface and as it start interacting with the machine surface it will spoil this particular machine surface and therefore there is a necessity that the cs value cannot be zero there is a certain positive value of cs has to be given and therefore i start increasing the cs the moment my side cutting edge angle start increasing can i say that we identify that whatever the width of the cut is there that is the length of portion of cutting edge which is in contact with work which also keeps on increasing here ob is nothing but called as a width of the cut ob is nothing but called as what width of a cut that will keep on increasing width of cut will keep on increasing but as soon as we are increasing that it will divert my chip away from that machining zone and therefore there is a certain value of cs has to be given but even if cs keeps on increasing the width of the cut keep on increasing for a same depth of cut and therefore power consumption will also keep on increasing so maximum value of a cs is exactly equal to 35 degrees restricted maximum value of cs cannot be greater than 35 degrees. from this figure we can say that sir this angle is exactly equal to lambda this angle is exactly equal to cs so we know that lambda plus cs is exactly equal to 90 degree so if i say that sir 90 degree lambda is equal to 90 degree minus cs so can i say that if cs is maximum cs is maximum can i say that minimum value of lambda would come exactly equal to 90 minus 35 degree it is exactly equal to 55 degree so which means that a lambda value cannot be less than 55 whereas a uh, cs value side cutting edge angle cannot be greater than 35 degree so you come back here and just observe that tool signature given and identify the sixth place angle if that sixth place angle is less than 35 degree which means that it should be side cutting edge angle which means that it should be asa safe signature of tool or tool signature and if the sixth place angle is greater than 55 degree which means that it is a principal cutting edge angle lambda which means that the signature is ors so please see that at the sixth place what angle is given and if it is less than 35 it is definitely asa tool signature if it is greater than 55 definitely it could be ors tool signature please use that while solving numericals thank you